Hey, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you're with me today in our Bible study. This is our weekly get together. I have a topic today that I want you to think about and I want you to hear this is simply this. Do you have the courage to start over? Do you have the courage to start over again? Now, it's easy to keep going, right? It's easy to be safe and feel like you are. But in this environment we're in, a lot of people, including yours truly, has had to fight off feeling insecure because things keep changing. And you're not really sure. When can we do this? When can we do that? Is that safe? Am I going to catch this or catch that? And you can really get to a place where you're stuck and you start reminiscing about what things used to be like and where things used to be. Well, Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 is in that place. He's in this place where Moses, this great part of his life, has died. And there are these words that God said to him in Joshua chapter 1, verse 1, that really help all of us understand the importance of starting over again. This is what he says. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses, aid. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. Well, well I, I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. These folks were in a paralyzing moment. I can relate to that. And I have felt that way myself. A little paralyzed, a little bit of, you know, how do I do this? But you've got to get past all of that. There's a great moment where he says, look, Moses is dead now. That's over. There's, you're now in a new world. You're in a different circumstance. And you can spend too much time dwelling on where it used to be, how it used to be, and what I've lost. And you can become paralyzed. You can become paralyzed and lose your ability to be mobile and to move. I am so, I am so tempted to be paralyzed. I am so tempted to just, I don't know, moan about where I used to be. Oh, God, help me. I used to be able to go down and do this. Oh, God, help me. I used to be able to do this. And, and that's just sad. But it doesn't change anything. All it does is it gives me this sense of, I don't know, feel sorry for me. But here's what God told him. He says, I'm not going to give you anything that you don't walk on. Verse 3, I will give you every place where your foot walks. Everywhere your foot treads. I'll give you what I promised Moses. I'll take, I'll, look, I'll get you to a new place. I'll give you a brand new start, but you've got to walk. And, and that's the question. Are you walking? Are you, are you getting up and trying? Now I have a little saying, get up. You might say, what if I fall down? Get up again. What if I fall down again? Get up again. And keep getting up until you get where you want to go. Moses was gone. Some of you are dwelling on a lost loved one, husband, spouse, marriage. You got your whole list of things that are messed up. And if you're not careful, you're controlled by that, dominated by that. You loop in and out of that every day. You're so controlled by it. And so this week, I want you to think about this. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to accept that my mother was here with me for so many years. It's like my, my children. My mother is passed on. I'm going to pass on one day. My kids don't get to keep me forever. That's life. I have to learn to accept and embrace the truth. I have to face the truth and have the courage to start over. Some of you are complaining. Nobody's here. It's just me in this big old house. Ah, at least you got a house. At least you have an opportunity. You know what God gave you back? Your life. You. Ricky Temple has a life. And the scary part about this season, Ricky Temple has had to look at himself. himself. He's had to say, hey, are you happy? I had to do something my wife loves to talk about. Self-entertain. Entertain yourself. Learn how, learn how to play solitaire. <laughs> Not literally the card game, just the point. Learn how to be alone. Learn how to love you. Learn how to forgive you for what you didn't do right and build yourself a new future. Let me pray for you. Father, let this word today, this Bible study, this five-minute time together be transformational. May they open their hearts and say, I need to be like Joshua and start over again. I need to get my feet moving. I need to understand the power of doing that today. In Jesus' name. Hey, it's a joy to be with you. This is Pastor Rick with a word for you that can help you walk free. See you next time. Stay sharp. Bye-bye.